Twin Digital and Green Transition is a big project and it's an ambitious project for countries who have enjoyed stability. So you can understand that for countries that have gone through conflict, it's an even more arduous and difficult and complex project. But I think that uh, this does not preclude um, seeing the transition, the green transition, the digital transition as a horizon that you can work uh, towards. And in Libya, uh, this actually is a time, the time of crisis is also a good time to think about the future and just to uh, see how we can change the model. Um, I think Libya can work, uh, achieve um, the green transition by diversifying from oil and also putting renewables at the heart of the political economy programs. And uh, for the digital transition, um, it should um, put um, uh, building a knowledge-based economy at the heart of its program. And actually, digital solutions can act as a catalyst and as an enabler for the green transition. The first and important step is to resolve the remaining disputes and to uh, work towards the reunification of economic institutions because having divided uh, and parallel institutions actually hinders uh, economic recovery and also it means uh, hindering possibilities for growth and development. Then I, Libya can uh, implement, start to implement uh, programs for, to move towards a digital transition and this means uh, implementing solutions in governance and also in education solutions in uh, different sectors to help uh, transitioning. And um, at the same time, I think Libya can, should work uh, towards having a social policy that puts people at the, uh, at the heart and cares about people so you don't only move and implement uh, digital solutions without caring about the, about the people. So you have to have such a um, social policy in place. And at the same time, uh, you have to put and ensure that there are mechanisms in place to build transparency and accountability in such a difficult environment and conflict-affected context.